remembered when she really want to remember remember when remember when uh, of course, this week we're going to look back on the worst characters in wrestling. I mean, of course, there's the usual. There's the Mantars, there's the Shockmasters, but I think we're going to dig deep uh, on, on this one. Uh, and, and somebody had one already, right? Uh, Bobby? I do. Was that you? Make sure nobody else takes yours, I think, right? Okay, I'm going to go with the original MVP, Abe Knuckleball Schwartz, <laughs> who came out. Good. This was his entire gimmick. He came out picketed when the MLB was on strike hmm. and then was never heard from again. <laughs> His entire gimmick was holding up a sign and then never being heard from again. Used to but great, he, had, he had cool face paint. Used to great effectiveness. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Um, Bo Diggity, you got one? I'm going to dig deep. I'm going to dig real deep here. I'm going to take dig you back deep. to about 1997, 1998, WCW. Man who had lasers as part of his intro. A, a, a character <laughs> that was created, I believe, <laughs> I believe no. he was created to capitalize on the Mortal Kombat movies. Hey, oh, maybe. Nice. <laughs> and they really just said, you know what? Let's take one of the characters from W from from Mortal Kombat. But let's take his mask off and make him a white guy. <laughs> I'm talking about Glacier. He had a mask. He had a mask. He had a mask. And he then he ripped it too. off. I had one of those masks too because it was one of those like sp- it was one of those like neoprene ski masks. Mm-hmm. And so, any t- by the way, I will say this and to to WCW's credit, every time I've ever worn one of those, I always rip it off real fast when I'm done. <laughs> was that was that around the time that the SARS outbreak happened? No, oh, I don't. Maybe think he so. was. Maybe no, he was a precursor to that. Far, far too early. Yeah, for that one. yeah. <laughs> no, Glacier. Glacier is one of the worst gimmicks ever because he had like ninja moves, but then like you would watch him wrestle and he didn't have ninja moves. He only had ninja <laughs> moves for his intro. <laughs> I, you know, I, and I disagree because I I enjoyed Glacier, but of course I was also a huge fan of Mortal Kombat, and I believe I was watching the Mortal Kombat show that came on right after Nitro. Oh, that show. <laughs> yeah, oh. it was not a good show. Plus, they oh. named him after the biggest, slowest thing in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought They've about only that seen one. The yeah. tip up, but there's so much more deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Blows of blood runs cold. Uh, Riz, how about you? Um, I just remember watching old WCW and remembering good old OK. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, the worst. I'm talking about that. It, it was a good concept until he made fun of Bell's palsy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that's that. It, 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 it didn't work at all. I mean, he and he was a horrible imitator of Jr. Bar none, but just to have him making fun of uh, some. Weird ass disease, uh, a disease like that. Yeah, just killed everything. And somebody like legitimately has a problem with, you know. I mean, that's yeah, that's tough. Yeah, yeah. Um, and an honorable mention to David Arquette. <laughs> of course, <laughs> you know. Chachi was looking for that today. I think he was like searching David Arquette in the in the in the in the database on there. Why? So, Why I, was yeah, he hey, searching for that? Hey, he wanted to see, figure out what, which one was the three-tiered cage where he won the belt. So, um, <laughs> is that, like Nitro? We, by the way, which one was that? Because I actually do want to go it back was and watch that match. It was Slambury 99, I think we settled on. Oh. So, try that one. Or just search David Arquette on the WWE Network. You know, come up. Oh, fair enough. So, there you go. Uh, what about you, Mr. Uh, Wheels? Uh huh. I I caught that. Almost caught what you just said. Uh, honestly, I'm going to go with uh, AJ on the other end of that spectrum of glacier. I'm going to go with Mortis. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. Let's go for another extreme of Mortal Kombat. Let's go with a green guy against him. So yeah. That's my choice. And you know what? I came up with... There was some canyon. I, I Random WCW pay-per-view. Like, he was a jobber. Mm-hmm. Like, as Chris Canyon beforehand. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, didn't re- I didn't realize that. So, 
But I also didn't watch like Worldwide and Saturday Night and that kind of stuff. Did so. they give him Green Mist to spit? Mortis? I feel like they might have. I do feel like they I might have. I vaguely remember something green. Yeah. Um, I don't remember, I like honestly. Other thing I learned when I was looking up Hogwild to suggest the Chachi, I didn't rem- I didn't re- realize they did a whole nother eight matches at that event to play on WCW Saturday night. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, and they sound like the worst matches possible. So they had to sit through eight of those crap fests before they got to the normal crap fest. Um, anyways, uh, how about you, LB? Well, I, originally I was going to go with Man Mountain Rock. But then something occurred to me that was way worse and made a whole lot less sense than a fat man who plays guitar in a, uh, in a tie-dye jumpsuit. And my choice is uh, Vince Russo, except I'm a wrestler now. Yeah. Yes. Do you remember that? Oh, okay. I remember like that. when he came back that last time, right? No, in WCW, when he was like, I'm a wrestler now. Oh, I've got a concussion, so I'm going to wrestle wearing football pads and a helmet. And What the oh, fuck God, was that I about? I do remember that. Oh, mm-hmm. that was awful. Yeah. I, he just, I was just, I wanted to be on television, and I'm booking the thing. So, fuck. That's the crazy shit that Vince Russo, that everybody forgets. Vince Russo took away a match spot for somebody who probably deserved it to run around in football pads in the ring like an idiot. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. What about you, Sorg? I've been through so. Um, I, again, uh, delving through the WCW that I had never experienced in the mid-90s, uh, realizing the horrible, horrible characters, and there's a whole list of them, most of them in the Dungeon of Doom, but then there's some that, it, it seemed like, at least in two instances, there's a case where random good guy character to help out Hulk Hogan. Okay. Um, seems like a role that came up a lot and make less sense than Bully Ray at, at, and his turn at lockdown. Um, in the case that I'm thinking about now, it I can't even remember what show it was. I want to say it's probably uncensored or something. Um, and I know it wasn't World War. Th- well, it could have been World War Three actually. I don't even know. Um, but there was a guy, and I remember him later, like jobbing on like Nitro and, and Saturday nights when I started watching a little later. Uh, but the Renegade. Uh, and the, the renegade, <laughs> yeah, the renegade was basically the ultimate warrior, and I think they even played it up as he was like the ultimate alliance or something like that. Maybe they were trying to get warrior and it didn't come through, so they got this guy, and he was painted. He looked like he looked like a thrift store ultimate warrior. Um, yep. which he's the he, kind of figure you'd get at Dollar Tree. <laughs> Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. You don't have the warrior, you have the renegade. He is a Dollar Tree action figure. Wow. He was world world television champion for one year. For for a whole year? Wow. Wow. Uh, Wow. Let's see here. It says from 95 to 96, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I got, you know, holidays and such, I guess. Holidays. (laughs) There's a, there's a weekend time. You got the whole from, It was from June 18th, 1995 to September 17th, 1996. That's God messed bless. up. That is a really long run. That ride. is messed up. Took it from Paul Orndorff. Or, Paul Orndorff. Mr. To, Wonderful? Uh, wow. Yeah, Mr. Wonderful lost it to Diamond Dallas Page. Oh, wow. What the fuck? Wow. With that, it's me, uh, tell it's us me, uh, it's your aw, crap. Tell us your <laughs> worst wrestlers of all time, your favorites, your dislikes, the ones you love to say what?